Hello, hello everyone. I'm the Balkan benchmark guy, also named Greco, and today we'll discuss about Reshade. Well, what is Reshade? Reshade is basically an application which is used to increase the fidelity uh, of the graphics from a specific game, of course. So, in this situation, we will be using the 6.5 version the latest one i'm gonna show you step by step what to do and also i'm gonna upload my own reshade and more specifically today's example is gonna be god of war collection so basically god of war one and two for ps3 we'll use the rp cs3 emulator and first we will have to download it you press on this link and download but i already have it downloaded here I double click, press on run, go to browse and go to the RPCS3 folder and choose RPCS3. Now we'll click on next. You will see that we're going to have multiple options here. Um, I know that for an example, if you open any kind of software that will capture the frame time, like Riva Tuner from MSI you will see in the corner usually it's gonna tell you what api it has the api is basically how should i explain it plainly the transition layer between the gpu and the game itself so the game can have four apis which are more common now directx 9 directx 10 to 12 opengl and vulcan i know for sure that rpcs3 has vulcan but in some cases when you're gonna try to install the reshade on a different game it may not show so as an example let's say maybe i want to install it for sniper elite so i will search sniper elite for api pc week and bingo presto we are at the website and then i press ctrl f search for api and I know that the API will be Drix 11 and 12. So now continuing, we press on yes and we uncheck and check all because we need all the effects, at least in my case. Uh, I also made my own reshade for God of War. I did also try to apply ambient inclusion and I'm gonna show you through an example exactly uh, what happened okay i'm gonna show you some gameplay footage and why i did not want to apply the ambient occlusion uh, especially on god of war 2. so after we install it you will have to go to the game fold sorry to the rpcs3 folder and i'm gonna leave you a link to my own resheet for god of war it's gonna be god of war uh reshade basically so you don't have to worry about that okay so then we double click on the program we run it <coughs> and to be sure that we have the best settings um my advice would be to follow a video in which i explained how to update the game and also how to use the best settings this is what I use usually for this game because it's pretty good optimi optimized on RPCS3. So I was a 300 skill resolution, 60 frames limit, and also this stuff. Okay, so I press save and see you soon on the gameplay. Just a small note I will also leave the reshade configuration files I'm gonna explain later in the video this too you will have to copy exactly in the rpcs3 folder so see you in the gameplay okay guys as i promised i'm back with the gameplay now if the resheet was successful you're gonna see a pop-up sadly i couldn't record that but if you press on home you will see this okay uh you'll not see god of war reshade you will see something like reshade preset.ini that will be the first thing that you will see most probably okay um now in this case firstly my advice will be to go to settings and be sure that you put the effect toggle on delete okay with this you activate and deactivate the reshade and then you click on here and choose my reshade which you'll copy in the rpcs3 folder okay 
Then you press select, active to top, and we delete to activate it and deactivate the reshade. And uh, from the gameplay, this is without reshade. And this is with reshade. And as you can see, it basically improved the graphics of the game and it made it like a new game. So thank you very much for watching the God of War 1 gameplay. Now let's go to God of War 2 and show you how it will look. As I promised guys, this is God of War 2. So before we go in, most probably you will have the old reach. I have two separate reshades, God of War 1 and God of War 2. I disabled the bloom because it's pretty intensive on this game. So to change it, you just go here and press on this also small note if you'll have a cutscene my advice would be to press on delete to disable the reshade during the cutscene because the ambient occlusion may be seen in the background or you'll see some artifacts so this is the game without the reshade still looks pretty good and this is the game with the reshade as you can see i basically remastered the game on my own so there you go guys this is how you use the reshade on rpcs 3 and also thank you very much for tuning in i'm the balkan gamer also called greco and stay tuned for more